um, I'm gonna make a video about stepping out of your comfort zone, and this is a step for me, actually, so, well, yeah, it is a step, because the other day, well, last night, I posted my first video, that was one of my steps, but, um, anyways, so, why do I think it's important that you step out of your comfort zone? I think it's important because you're not living. You're not living if you're staying in a little box. Like, why would you stay in a box when you can live and all that? Um, obviously, I'm not gonna have the best YouTube video ever right now, but this is a step, and a step is better than staying in one place, no matter what. For me, it's important that I step out of my comfort zone because if I hadn't stepped out of my comfort zone, then I would still be living where I was living and not very happy and sad about the next day and not looking forward to life and not looking forward to living and I didn't, I didn't think my dreams could ever come true or anything. But now, like, not every day is a perfect day but I'm really happy where I am. I'm happy that I moved. I'm happy that I made the friends I made. And my life has drastically changed because I stepped out of my comfort zone. So, you should step out of yours. Um, I made a list, I made a list, and so, my nice little list. Um, so, how do you step out of your comfort zone? Because I'm telling you all about, yeah, go, step out of it. It's going to be easy. No, it's not going to be easy. Sometimes it's going to be easy. Sometimes it's going to be, like, you've, you're going to feel, like, crazy when you step out of your comfort zone sometimes. Like, is this right? And I'm going to tell you the steps you can take. You need to take baby steps. Like, I needed to make a YouTube channel. I just know I needed to make one. And I'd been putting it off. I've put it off since, like, last March. And I've been saying I was gonna make a YouTube channel. And, like, it's been a year and I still hadn't made a YouTube channel. So, I was just if you look at my channel, you'll see there's that silly little dance video. That's my baby step. I had to post something. And this is a baby step too because I know I'm not going to be great at this right now. But it's better than staying still and doing nothing. So, to figure out what you want to do. And ask yourself... What is the smallest, tiniest, little bitty step that I can take towards that? And that can mean, like, if you are anxious about going to the library because you think everybody's going to stare at you, you can, maybe you could just walk to the library and then turn around and go back home. Don't even go in the library. Just go. Every day, just take yourself a little bit farther and if you feel like you can't go farther don't try to do like if you feel like you can't go any farther then just go as far as you can go and push yourself the next day don't if you can't do it it's okay it's okay as long as you are trying then it's good the second thing you can do is when you're trying to do something and go out of your comfort zone that you need support and what I mean by support is it could be good friends that are supportive supportive of you or your family or like music if you're feeling like 
you tried to do this thing today to step out of your comfort zone and it didn't really work or or it was really difficult for you to do that thing that you did whatever it is that you're trying to do you need your friends to defend the silver lining and like I can't tell you how important it is to have good friends that support you you can't have friends that are like oh I'm sorry that didn't work out like it's probably because you didn't try hard enough or something like that don't listen to that you need friends that are like it's okay you're gonna get it tomorrow or when you're ready when the time is right you're gonna get it and you just or just friends that are just there like so you know that you're not alone it's just friends is is a good thing for support and so is music sometimes you don't have a friend right there to talk to or to hold you or like make you feel better or whatever so you find some music and you just listen to the music and listen to the words and take comfort in that because stepping out of your comfort zone whether it be like the the smallest thing or the biggest thing it's not always easy and and you're gonna need support so you can have your friends you can have your family you can have a teacher you can I mean you can even go on YouTube and look up people look up people that you just like that make you feel better if either you can like look for advice or you can um, look for something that takes your mind off of it just you need support you need something to help you cope when you're trying to jump over a hurdle like that well the last step to how you can do this is ask yourself why why do I want to do this thing why do I want to take this step over my comfort zone what are my motives and why am I afraid what what will happen if I fail? Here's the last point I want to make, and it goes with the why. Like, why do I want to step over my comfort zone? You ask yourself why, and if it isn't going to kill you, and it's not going to hurt you physically, and it's not going to leave you emotionally scarred or whatever for like a long time, then you should probably do it. You should probably take the step. If, if it's for you. If it's something that you want. Don't do nothing for somebody else. Do things. Do, do your life for you. And if you can't figure out if it's an irrational feeling. Or whatever. If you can't figure it out. Go to somebody that you really trust and you can really talk to like that a person that will tell you the honest truth about yourself like a really good best friend that will tell you if you're effing up and you say i'm afraid of this thing is it does it make sense to you do you think that it's gonna harm me in some way if i do this thing and if they say no then go for it do it and do the little baby steps and i said and have your support have your friends have your music have have all that stuff at the end of the day when it's just been like oh my god today was so hard i did that thing i took that step and it was so difficult but i did it and congratulate yourself too like even the smallest victory even if you like for me if i was afraid to be seen in public and i at least left my house i didn't even get out of my car or nothing like i got dressed got in my car i didn't even have to go anywhere as long as i got out of the house i should congratulate myself because it's 
it's hard getting over some things. Like, it might seem silly that I was afraid to go out of the house, but you, you just have to, you need to congratulate yourself and be proud of yourself. Even if it seems silly, like, and people, some people are gonna be like, oh, I can't believe you were scared of people seeing you and you wouldn't go to the library, that's stupid. And just because you got in your car doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. It means you didn't stay in your house, in your pajamas all day, like, in the dark, sad, for no reason. Like, you didn't do that. You put on your clothes and you intended to go outside and even though you didn't turn your car on and leave the driveway, that's okay. You did one thing and you took one step towards getting out of your comfort zone and that's all that matters. So, I hope this helps somebody and um, just remember any step is better than no step at all even if it's a mental step like even if you like i said if you intended to go outside and you did step outside your house that day even if you didn't go anywhere it's it's a big step if you looked in the mirror and you said hey i kind of like i kind of like my arms today and then maybe a second later you're back to shaming yourself again but hey you had that one thought for one minute and it was good and you did something good so one step is better than no step at all